just checked into our beautiful overwater villa at Fushifaru. Let's check it out. Hello, won't you come in? Hi Michael. And here we are. This view, what a view. is unreal. Overwater villa life. I absolutely love all of the decorations in this villa. Very fish themed. Once again, lots of fish. So this is the wrasse fish and it swims alongside sharks and manta rays in a symbiotic relationship, I think. Yeah, it cleans them. Cleans them it and does a lot for the eats reefs. them. But how cute is this stuffed animal? I want one, Michael. We also have this beautiful welcoming present, some sparkling wine and some fruit. And I think these are dates. And this is coconut meat. Here's the bathroom. Got a beautiful bathtub with a view of the ocean. Now let's show you outside. Some lounging chairs, a jacuzzi. This water is so pristine and beautiful. We also received these super cute palm necklaces that are made into stars upon arrival. I'm definitely feeling so welcome and happy to be here at Fushifaru. I'm very excited to explore, but for now I'm going to unpack and freshen up from our journey. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Good morning everyone! Good morning! It's Aaron and Michael and we are now at the Fushifaru Resort in the Maldives. This is a tiny little island that you can walk around in just 10 minutes. We're actually walking to the dive center right now because this island is known for its incredible scuba diving. This island is super remote. We had to get here by seaplane yesterday which was an experience was crazy. in itself. Because it's so remote, there's not a lot of interference with the ocean and the reef and the creatures. So they maintain the integrity of the sea life here. And from what we heard, it's absolutely incredible. It's actually going to be my first time scuba diving in the Maldives and Michael's first time scuba diving in warm water in general. So very, very excited. excited and we'll take you guys along with us.
Okay, we are back on Fushifaru after a beautiful morning of scuba diving. We did two dives. Which one was your favorite? The first one for sure. The first one was crazy because we saw so many sharks. I'd say the first one we, we saw, saw larger animals. So many everything. Like Yeah. I don't even know what kinds of fish. Thousands and thousands. Thousands of schools. fish. Schools. Aaron got bombarded. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. There's a huge school of fish. Both dives were incredible. Um, I don't know which one I liked better. The second one, uh, there was lots of little tiny, tiny kinds of fish, but thousands of them. And so. big turtle. Yeah. Anyway, it was an amazing morning. The Maldives diving definitely did not disappoint at and it's all. it's barely even noon. We have such a crazy day ahead of us too. We have so much left to do, but we're going back to our room to freshen up. Catch our breath. Catch our breath, reapply more sunscreen because we're feeling a little toasty. What a great start, don't you think? Oh yeah, unreal. All right, we're back in the room. We have been chilling super hard. Definitely need a lot of shade and water after being in the ocean all morning. But I just want to show you how stunning it is today. Can you believe this? I have never seen water this crystal clear blue before. Just wow. So Fushifaru prepared something really, really special for us this afternoon. Michael and I are going to the nearby sandbank for a private sandbank picnic lunch. So we're gonna have this private little island to ourselves for two hours. It's going to be paradise. This is the outfit I will be wearing to the sandbank. It's very simple, just a white bikini and this cover-up sarong. I'm obsessed with this color. Who is darker? Michael's pretty tan, but I don't know, I feel like I'm just a bit darker than he is. Comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny vlogging with my vlog camera with Michael in it because if I'm in it, he's not in it because he's so much taller than me. So with the GoPro, you don't have that problem. It'd be funny is that every time you vlogged, you're it's like, just, <laughs> just me and Michael. It just <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much is because I, I only come up to your neck. Not even. That'd be a good ongoing joke. Oh my God. All my Instagram pictures just without a head. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the sandbank. Woo! All right, we're on the boat. We have a one minute commute to get to the sandbank. Over there. We are here at the sandbank, our private sandbank for the next two hours. And we have this lovely lunch set up for us. Crazy! There's a little dug in couch over there, too. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Look at our little setup. At Fushifaru, there's actually an excursion option to spend the whole night here on this island. And they set it up for you really cute. You get a bed, a couch, snacks, I'm assuming. And you literally sleep here. Under the stars. Under, Under the, the stars. stars are incredible. But we're getting a little taste of it today. Daytime paradise. Okay. There they go. We're just abandoned here. And there they go. The Fushifaru staff is leaving us. We just walked to the opposite side of the island. It took about five minutes or so, but it's blazing hot, so we obviously went for a little swim. Ice? Yes. <laughs> Brewed in the Philippines. Really tasty beer. Nice. This ice cube feels so good. 
Cheers to being on a deserted island. Cheers. Don't send help, am I right? No, we're good. <laughs> send more beer. All right, we are going to enjoy this lovely setup. And I'll see you in a bit. Just got back to the dock. How did you like it? It was so relaxing. But now we are back to Fushifaru. Which is equally as beautiful. Yeah, just a few more people on it. And now we're heading to the pool area to rinse off a little bit. Maybe grab another drink. Oh, you say we order some drinks. I say we order some drinks. Okay. I really want to get a passion fruit ice blended margarita. What are you going to get? Beedoo. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Cheers. Cheers. In about an hour, we need to be at the spa. But until then, we will be chilling with this view. Ooh, it's bright. We are off to the spa right now to go shoot some content at their bath area. Feeling quite sunburned, a little crispy, a little lethargic, so this bubble bath will be very nice. Michael and I haven't worn shoes the entire time we've been here on Fushifaru, and that might be my favorite thing. Yeah. about this place is you don't wear shoes. I literally wear my bikini and my sarong everywhere I go. Anyway, this is the main reception area for the spa. Michael and I actually got a treatment here the other day. We got a one hour massage. It felt so good. Actually, I think I got like a coconut smoother treatment. So it was a massage with lots of coconut oil. Perfect for dry sunburnt skin like mine right now basically so anyway we're just waiting for someone to show up and let us into the bath area oh there she is hello so we are in the spa area i just took a bubble bath in this beautiful outdoor tub got some good photos thanks to michael over here and uh, now we're gonna shoot the spa shower I have bubbles all over myself. All right, anyway, we just wrapped up our shoot. Now we're going to go back to the villa and hang out until sunset and then go get some dinner. There's a couple sharks out in the water right now. There's one there. And they are swimming around these groups of fish and it looks so crazy. Fish shark. Oh, there's two of them. And they just move out of the way. <laughs> They're like, nope. So we're back at the villa. I'm having a proper bath this time, a real bath with bubbles. The other one was just for show, but this one is going to be really pampering and relaxing. And I'm just going to enjoy this life, overwater villa life. All right, we are ready for dinner, wearing this tight little dress, very beachy. You ready? So ready, shall we? Let's go. You can't even see it, but it's really pretty, you guys. The stars here are incredible. I don't see any stars. Well, it's cloudy tonight, but usually they're incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. So we're off to dinner right now. This is the pathway through the island. This is the bat cave. Good thing is that it's lit up, otherwise it'd be a little scary because it's pretty dark. Nah, that's chill. Ocean is right there. And now we're just waiting for the buffet to open up. All right, I do think I'm going to be ending this vlog. I'm very tired from a long day exploring at Fushifaru. But before I go, I wanted to show you something really cool that I collected from my sandbank experience earlier today. I'm not exactly sure what these are. I don't know if you can see the star, but these are like little round sand dollars and they were everywhere on this island. I have a little collection going on right now. But anyway, I think I'm gonna end this vlog. Pretty tired. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.
Bye.